What's your favorite childhood memory? We all have these golden moments from when we were young, right? Maybe it was a birthday party, or maybe it was a thing your brother or sister did really dumb. If you know me, it won't be a shock that one of my favorite childhood memories is about sports. I love sports. When I was four, I started playing soccer. And when I was eight, I started playing professional soccer. After a few years playing professional soccer, I came to Bali and started surfing. My dream is to become a sponsored surfer and to compete in the World Surf League. When I was nine, I went to Zeeburg. It's the Europe's biggest skate park. I remember the wheels clicking on the ground and the loud clacks of the skateboard landing on the floor as people landed a trick or felt. I remember how entranced I was by the teenagers who zipped through the ball. It was the most incredible thing I had ever seen. All I wanted to be was to be like them and I never looked back. I know you're thinking, Dan, cool that you love sports, but how does it relate to your quest? Well, let me tell you. Indonesia contains the world's third largest rainforest after the, after the Amazon and the Congo Basin. And every year, seven million hectares of forest are lost to expand agriculture for projects like Nutella, Oreo, cheese Doritos that contains palm oil. For the people who don't know what deforestation is, deforestation is when trees are getting cut down and not replanted. In total, this year, over 5 million animals died because of deforestation. And in total, 9.1 million mammals, 10.7 million birds, and 67.1 million reptiles. That's over 10,700 a day and over 570 an hour. I love animals, especially monkeys. My dad and mom always gave me the nickname monkey. <laughs> Indonesia is the most rich species, rich, it's the most rich animal country on earth, spread out over the, over the 18,000 islands we have. In the last 15 years, over 100,000 Yorinitans died in Borneo because of deforestation. So now I've told you a few facts of deforestation and of, of the loss of biodiversity. Now I'm taking you back in the time to 1950 when the first skateboard was built. It was built by a group of California surfers who really cared about their environment. They made the surfboard with a piece of wood and metal wheels Pretty easy. They made it so they can replicate the re feeling of riding a real, wa real wave. The process. We started with looking for a big piece of wood. After three days looking on the beach from high tide to low tide, we found finally a good piece of wood. We let it dry for three days and brought it to the IHOP. We brought it to the IHOP and found the well measurements. We made it into the good shape and we lifted it up. It was so heavy. We made it thinner and it was good. I bought secondhand trucks and put them under and started skating. Two things were not right. The first one was it was too flimsy. Pieces started to break off. So we had to think about a solution. So we found a small metal plate and put it under the trucks and pieces didn't start to break off anymore. The second one was, it was slippery. It was when I did a turn or something, it w I fell off because it was too slippery. So I decided with the glue we still had, pour it over my surf, surf skate and put sand over it. That's how my grip tape is made. This is an example of how I made my project sustainable. This is how my skateboard looks like right now. The monkey in a tree. Why a monkey in a tree? Well, I'm raising awareness for the monkeys that are dying because of deforestation. How did I made it into the back of the skateboard? Well, I used the laser cutter from the eye up to burn it into the back of my skateboard. Why the name Suar Surf Skate? Well, Suar is the type of wood where my skateboard is built from and Surf Skate because it's a Surf Skate. 
If you want to donate big pieces of hardwood, please donate them to my Instagram, dan underscore underscore VR. I would like to thank Ibedita from the IAP with helping me without tools, all the teachers of grade eight with helping me with Quest, my dad for doing the process with me, and my mom for helping me finalizing the slideshow and, and the speech. Thank you.